Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Sunday, October 6th version of Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing. Taking a look at the main impacts for this week, it's really going to be centered around the Tuesday and Wednesday time frame when a very strong cold front will move down uh, out of Canada and across the Rockies and eventually actually all the way down into nor northern Mexico. So that's going to bring us some windy conditions, a 30 degree drop in temperatures between Tuesday and Wednesday, and also some snow, especially in the higher terrain areas, but we can't rule out uh, some light snow in the Snake Plain either. And uh, as I mentioned, a uh, temperature drop of 30 degrees or more in 24 hours happens only about one once every 10 years across Southeast Idaho. So a somewhat unusual event for us. And overall confidence in the details is high at this time. Uh, so again, if you look at the planning timeline here, your eyes go right to Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, that's when we're expecting the biggest impacts. Winds will ramp up through the day on Tuesday, and we'll begin to see some snow move into the central Idaho mountains late in the day Tuesday. And by the time we get through Tuesday night and into Wednesday, we'll see snow developing along the Montana border region, eventually the Wyoming border region, and perhaps some snow showers across the Snake Plain. At this time, we're expecting the highest snowfall amounts around Island Park. So we've got them uh, shaded as a moderate impact at this time. And getting into Tuesday, some snow showers will linger across the eastern highlands in the Wyoming border region. And we'll show you some more of the details with the forecast radar here momentarily. A quick peek at this morning's satellite image. You can see these uh, oranges, yellows, and even non-shaded colors. That indicates quite a bit of dry air that's moving towards us here in the short term. Our cold front, an area of interest, uh, is an area of cold air gathering over eastern Siberia and Alaska. And what that cold air is going to do is that's going to move across Alaska here in the next 24 hours, move across northwest Canada on Monday and down into the northern Rockies on Tuesday. Uh, we can't quite, it's just off the, the edge of our satellite image here. Uh, maybe on tomorrow's briefing we'll be able to see that area of low pressure and cold front uh, as it works its way down. Uh, let's show you the forecast radar. Again, to refresh, the greens are where rain is expected and blues indicate where snow is expected. We're starting off here Tuesday morning. You can see how this activity will uh, move into the central Idaho mountains. Sam and Chalice Stanley as we get into the afternoon. Eventually expecting rain in the valleys, but that changeover to snow should happen fairly quickly within a couple of hours. Uh, otherwise, all snow for passes with this and we'll see how this progresses here as we go into Tuesday night. Notice we start to see snow developing along the Montana border region. And by the time we get into Wednesday morning, snow showers are ongoing across the central Idaho mountains and all the associated valleys. Snow is ongoing from Island Park down through the Teton Valley, Pine Creek Pass. And look at this, perhaps even some snow showers getting into the Snake River Plain interstate corridor and the higher terrain areas east of Pocatello. Well, right now we're expecting only light accumulations with that, but certainly something to monitor uh, as we go over the next couple of days. And into Wednesday afternoon, snow showers again favoring the higher elevation areas, but as we mentioned, we can't rule out some light snow across the Snake Plain either, especially as we get into Wednesday evening. Uh, that's when the convergence zone will develop. And we'll show you a little bit more about what that means in the wind forecast. but. Getting into Wednesday night now and into Thursday morning, we can see how those snow showers gradually wind down and move off into Wyoming. Let's take a look at these forecast snow accumulation now for this event. Again, the highest amounts are forecast from Island Park north to the uh, Montana border where amounts may approach or exceed six inches. Otherwise, generally one to three inches across the central Idaho mountains and uh, perhaps some light accumulation across the Snake Plain and the Interstate Corridor later on Wednesday. One of the main stories with this event will be the temperature change. But first, we'll give you high temperatures for today for some context. These are right near seasonal averages or ju just below. But we'll see a steady warming trend Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures should peak on Tuesday, where we are currently forecasting 70 degrees from Pocatello to Burley. But watch what happens as we get into Wednesday, where temperatures fall nearly 30 degrees between Tuesday and Wednesday, where we have highs only in the 40s now across the Snake River Plain. 
And that's another look at the 24-hour temperature drop between Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, they're approaching 30 degrees here across the Snake Plain in eastern Magic Valley. So how uncommon is that? Well, this is looking at Pocatello. How many times we've had a 30 degree temperature change within one day? And you can see on average it happens only about once per decade. It happened four times in the 1950s, but uh, generally it only happens once every 10 years. So an unusual event for sure. Now we haven't even talked about the low temperatures yet, but we're still ahead of the front here across far southeast side of on Wednesday. So low temperatures are still around freezing. But as we get into Thursday morning, that changes very quickly. We actually start to get into some teens across the upper Snake Plain. And these temperatures are near record lows, not only for low temperatures, but record low max temperatures as well for both Wednesday and Thursday. Wind speeds, of course, they will be on the increase ahead of the cold front and even behind it. Tuesday afternoon, strongest winds are across the mid and upper slopes of the central Idaho mountains where there's some gusts up to about 45 miles per hour there, but for valley locations, generally in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range. And we're seeing those winds increase as we go through Tuesday night here. But notice as we go into Wednesday morning, and I apologize for my color shading going away, but if we look at these uh, indicators here, these are uh, called wind barbs, and these are indicating southwest winds out ahead of the front look up here to the north towards the Montana border and divide, we start to see northerly winds come into the picture. And where these meet, that's uh, where the convergence zone happens. And where those winds meet, we see some enhanced shower activity. And in this case, it should be a snow shower activity for us. As we go through later in the day on Wednesday, we start to see that convergence zone sink southward towards Idaho Falls. And finally, by Wednesday evening, it continues to sink farther south, approaching Blackfoot and uh, Pocatello as well. So again, the main impacts would be the the strong temperature drop Tuesday and into Wednesday, as well as the associated wind and snow showers with this event. That concludes today's briefing. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or feedback, you can call us at the number there on the screen or also email us as well. Uh, otherwise, have a great re rest of your weekend. Thank you.